Just parked up and having a little picnic before we uh, embark. We got us picnic blanket, didn't we, dudes? So we've ended up just sitting in car. Just going up on a Mazda Moor. Westendon Head. Northern Peak District, here we are. And we're heading up there to West Nab. Dude just have piled off in front. Gotta try and catch him up, it's very windy. You having a bit of climb, dudes? Do you want some help, Ella? Ella's just doing a bit of solo climbing. Go on, Ezzy Bob. Yay, well done. And just over there, we can see the tree point of West Nab. But for now, I'm going to climb straight up that. Yeah. It's ever so windy, but I want to show you this feature. So back in the 1930s, West Nab would get referred to by adventurers as the Temple of the Sun. And that's mainly because beliefs were that this rock behind me, here, with the three indentations, was the site of a Druid's altar. And that rock there is known as the Druid's Seat. And I'll just take you a bit closer and show you. You can quite clearly see that each of these indentations is big enough for even quite a big man to sit in. So me and two of my compadres, two of my other druid buddies, could sit here and perform rituals to whatever minions we had just down there. I don't know if that's how it works. Or how it worked. But there's also a face east, which is why it got called the Temple of the Sun. Because it's sit, theory has it that they'd sit and watch the sun rise. But if it was bleeding windy all the time, I'm not sure they'd have bothered because it's absolutely mental. Also just here. Raven Rocks, it's just further down, I'll try and show you if I can get away from this wind. And that's believed to be of Celtic origin, because the raven were a sacred, the sacred bird of Odin. Um, and uh, there's some kind of crossover with Celtic mythology, I understand. And uh, the significance of that is that would be where the court was held, and executions and stuff like that would be performed, judgment sentences, that would be performed over at Raven Rock. So I've brought the drone as well. But in this wind, there's absolutely no chance of it flying. I think it'll end up in bleeding Shropshire or something if I, if I try. So, sadly, it's a bit windy. I hope some audio's come out. I've tried to talk quite loud so that I can be heard. It's not, it's not something I usually struggle with, but as I said, just in terms of the recording, just a bit of a write-off today. There's a very intricate, like, rocky network that you can you can fit down there's like little channels in between all big rocks and it's pretty good for shouting from wind like some more here and just where, where we've just come from i'll just show you
bike up here and if we just master that we've just come out of that gap there and you can go way further back up to the trig that way so as we come down from high neb just 30 meter from trig point or something like that we get to this little building whatever this is <laughs> and I don't know what this possibly could have been all the way up here but it's definitely there's no way this is naturally formed this has definitely been built um, I suppose it could have been some kind of some kind of like farm hut I don't really know I've no idea what, what this could be but whatever it was that was quite clearly the door. And look at that view. So this thing in front of us, this is what I believe to be Raven Rock. That pointy one there, that's what I just talked about. Hello! <laughs> Hmm. Have you hidden away? Yeah. Are you going to let Ella come in? <laughs> Are you in, Ella? Yeah. Hello. Hello. We've got down off a of West Nam now. And uh, even though it's still quite windy, it's nowhere near as bad as it was up there. It was absolutely torrid up there today. Um, I hope I've shown you some uh, more interesting features of that little uh, little site. Some uh, that we're hoping to return to quite soonish. And hopefully it'll not be as windy. Talk about Six kilometre circular, been pretty decent, nice uh, little stretch at Lake St. Dudes, done a bit of climbing, I think they've had fun. You had fun, Ella? Yeah? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Thanks for watching, guys. Just pulled in at Digley Reservoir, and what would a walking sun with dudes be if we didn't buy some ice creams? What have you got, dudes? Yeah, yeah. We don't want to go on a walk. You know, well, we're not going for a walk yet. We'll eat his ice creams first. What do you think? Good. Yeah.